in this video I'm going to talk about a very serious subject and that is fire regulations and how fire regulations have got so lax nowadays in the last three months or so and now so many places are disobeying them and I just cannot believe how bad things have got. It is beyond disgusting. The word disgusting doesn't sum up the state of what places are like nowadays. Pretty much everywhere I go nowadays I see so many fire regulation fails and it's become the norm. It's become the norm to a point where often I don't even film them because it's like oh it's normal no one obeys fire regulations nowadays. How have things got to such a bad state? Why is nobody enforcing this? Why is no one handing out punishments? How are businesses, building owners and councils able to get away with putting people's lives at risk by shutting fire exits? It's happened again and again and again. We first gonna talk about private corporations and fire regulations, mainly in the retail sector. And why is there so many fire fouls? Well, a lot of them are in the name of coronavirus. How can you use coronavirus to justify putting people's lives at risk by shutting fire exits? I've seen it so often and it's so horrific. How are they getting away? And why is nobody enforcing this? So many shops have done weird things in the name of coronavirus restrictions and a lot of them don't even help with coronavirus. So let's just talk about some examples of coronavirus restriction failures, like KFC I've seen recently, who had closed their main seating area. Why have they done that? In the name of coronavirus. But the whole purpose of coronavirus restrictions is to have larger spaces with fewer people, except KFC have done the opposite. To help with coronavirus, they've closed their big seating areas, forcing everyone to have to eat their food crammed together in a tiny little space, all in the name of coronavirus, despite the fact that that's the opposite of helping. That makes the coronavirus situation worse. So why do I do that? Only they can answer that. And I've seen so many weird examples, so many miserable members of staff in various places nowadays, and some of them get close to being counted as false imprisonment. For example, Primark in Lakeside. They've closed loads of entrances and exits, and there's a member of staff that stands permanently on level three at the main entrance and exit, telling people they're not allowed to enter and exit that way. To enter and exit, you can only use level ones and level two, meaning if you're on level three, you have to go down to level two to get out, meaning more people are being forced through level two because you can't get out on level three, meaning people are now crammed closer together to get in and out of the shop, which does the opposite of helping for coronavirus. And if you try and exit on level three, an angry member of staff tells you that that way of exiting is not allowed. Or that is technically false imprisonment. Because why can't you exit that way? Staff in a shop do not have a right of restricting your exit passage from the shop. And if you're on level three right next to the exit, the staff have no legal right to tell you you can't exit that way, but they still do. So then, let's get this video back on topic, and that is about fire regulations. So, talking of fire regulations, let's move right on to the range in Dockside. Just like other various shops, they've got loads of coronavirus restrictions. You can only enter the shop through one entrance, and you can only exit through another entrance. So only two entrance slash exits, when usually there's four, meaning everyone has to go into a shop closer together because there's less entrances slash exits. And that is in the name of coronavirus forcing people to get closer together to get through the bottleneck to get in and out. Yeah, it does the opposite of helping with coronavirus. But more importantly, it is a fire foul. Because the main entrance slash exit into the range at Dockside is an entrance exit that leads straight outside of the shop. And this door is locked shut. When you're in the range, you cannot exit back to the outside. And this door is permanently locked with a key, dead locked shut, you're not getting through that door. That means if there is a fire, you can't take the quickest way out of the shop. You also can't take the way out of the shop that actually takes you out to the outside. The other two entrance slash exits that are open only take you out into Dockside, into another part of the building, which you then have to walk all the way through until you can get to another fire exit. So if there was a fire in Dockside, you wouldn't be able to get out of the range. The exit straight out is closed, you'd be forced to have to walk into Dockside. Let's 
take a look. Welcome to the range at Dockside where there's another fire fail. Fire, fire exit, fire exit. Oh, we need to leave. It's the fire exit. Oh, oh, oh what's happened? Oh, it's locked. This door's closed. Another fire fail. Attention everyone in this shop, you're all at risk. There is another fire fail in this shop. Yet another fire fail in Medway. Breaking fire regulations again. So there you have it. They are putting lives at risk. If ever there was a fire in their shop or in Dockside, you would be trapped unable to get out of the quickest fire exit. But what's more than that is the fire exit signs still point at the closed fire exit. Now it isn't necessarily against fire regulations to close a fire exit if there is a good alternative. In this case there isn't a good alternative. But even if there was you'd have to redo the signs to point to the appropriate fire exit. In this particular case, they haven't. The fire exit signs still point to the locked fire exit. The range docks are putting lives at risk. It is disgusting. And that's only one of many. I've seen so many shops do various locking up of fire exits in the name of coronavirus. How has fire safety been forgotten about because of coronavirus? Coronavirus isn't going to kill you instantly. If you get caught in a fire, that will kill you instantly. Just because coronavirus is about does not justify for one moment the closure of fire exits. So now we go on to what's in the title of the video, Medway Council. Fire regulations? Oh, what are those? We're Medway Council. We don't obey regulations, even though we do enforce other kinds of regulations, such as littering. We see some breaking them, we find them. But as for us, oh, we don't have to bother with fire regulations. No, we're the council. And there's so much bad practice in Medway Council. For example, how the whole of Medway isn't exactly that well kept, apart from one area of Medway. Rochester High Street, where the tourists go, and the back areas of Rochester because who lives in the back areas of Rochester? No, it's not for posh councillors, is it? It's not where all of the posh totty clubs are, where all of the exclusive, elusive posh people go and invite the councillors to their posh dinners. That area's not kept nice, is it? Oh, it is. Why is that little tiny bit of Medway kept nice when the rest of it's all run down? Hmm, I wonder. And outside of a select area of Rochester, everything's run down and so many fire fouls and the one we're going to talk about is Tesco's in Chatham. Now Tesco's in Chatham closed down a while ago. A new shop, Go Outdoors, opened up in part of the shop. The rest of it was still abandoned. This shop, Go Outdoors, has now been kicked out by Medway Council. Medway Council have kicked them out. And as there's no shop there anymore, the lifts are now closed. Now in the first example of fire regulation fail, the fire exit being closed is not necessarily a fire fail because there is an appropriate second fire exit. But the signs still point to the locked fire exit. And as the signs still point to that locked fire exit, you are more likely to walk to that fire exit if there's a fire, rather than to the other fire exit. Meaning you would be walking the wrong way through the building, putting yourself at risk if ever there was a fire. This is a breach of fire regulations, but this is not the biggest breach, but we're going to look at this one first. Previously I did a video about a fire exit being locked and how it was against fire regulation. Well Medway Council must have seen my video as they've made some changes. They boarded up the fire exit completely but still haven't got rid of the fire exit sign meaning it's against oh regulation. God. Why did you, you should have hidden that fire exit sign? Like, it still is enough fire exits because you can get out there, you can get out there. So there is enough fire exits at this point. But because of this, if it was here and there was a fire, I'd go which way is the exit? Should I go this way or this way? No, there's a fire exit sign. That exit's closer. So I'd go up here, try and get out of this door because the fire exit sign's there. And now I've now lost seconds where I could have got out that way. So that is absolutely against fire regulation. But that's not the only one. There's two more fire fouls here. Let's go and look at them. Now we're going to go on to the bigger breaches of fire regulations. At the other end of the car park is the staircase. Some doors on this staircase are locked. 
Other doors are not. Meaning if you follow the fire exit signs, either you come to a locked door and can't get through that way, or you do manage to get into that staircase, but then you might find it a bit hard to get out of that staircase thanks to some of the doors being locked. And then, once you're on the staircase, it's not clear what floor you should actually go to because there's no fire exit signs there. It's not clear whereabouts in that staircase the fire exit actually is. And when you do manage to find the fire exit in that staircase, it is locked. And that is fire fail number two. Then after that is fire fail number three. And that is if you're on the outside section of the car park. This is an outdoor section in Tesco's and Chatham car park. The only way out from this area is to go back through the car park and then out the other side. There's no way out of this area without having to go through a building. Now this requires a fire exit, a safe route to get out of this trapped area in case the building you have to walk through is set on fire. Wow! That fire exit is locked. So if ever Tesco's and Chatham was caught on fire and you were in the outdoor area of the car park, you have no way to get out of that area without having to walk through the burning building. So there you go, three fire fouls in one. Let's take a look at fire fouls two and three. Fire fail two of three. Fire exit. Let's go to fire exit. It's chain shut, it's chain shut. Okay, fire fail. Let's go down here to get to the fire exit. Got fire exit, it's the fire exit. Let's turn on the torch. It's the fire exit that I need to get out of here. Let's see, which way is it? Down or up? It must be up, I think, because there's the fire exit. But it's locked. I've come into a staircase to get out because of the fire and I can't get out. Right, let's try going down. Let's try going down now. Where's the, is it on this floor? It must be this floor, but there's no signs. I don't know which way to go. So I come out on this floor and I'm further down in the car park now. Oh, that must be the fire exit. It's the closest way out. So let's go up here. Then we go up here. Which way is the fire exit now? Oh, the fire exit at last. Finally, I found the fire exit. Glee says fire exit, but you can't get out. The fire exit for this area is locked. Now that means you can't get out down there. So I have to go back into the burning building to get out. So there's no way I can get out through any of this. I literally cannot get out of the way. The only way out is that fire exit there. And now that's locked, I now have to go back into the burning building to get out. That is an absolute fire foul. Medway Council, how can you be that fucking incompetent? And again, this is not all of them. This is just a small selection of the amount of fire fouls I've seen nowadays. How has fire regulations got so lax? Why is no one doing anything about it? How on earth? Has this country, it's always been good at fire regulations, reached a stage where fire fouls have become the norm? 